Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners. Welcome to today's biology lesson. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Uh, today, uh, we'll continue with our discussion on introduction to biology, a topic in Form 1. And today we are going to look at collection of specimens. What are specimens? Specimens are materials obtained from living organisms that are used for the study of biology. We can get specimen from specimens from plants, from animals, and from other living organisms so that they can enable us to understand biology better by using those specimens. So basically we can say that uh, specimens are materials obtained from plants and animals to aid in the study of biology. Now, these specimens sometimes may be live specimens whereby we may be required to collect specimens that are alive. For example, insects are live specimens for the study. Other times, we can collect specimens that are not alive. Maybe specimens such as leaves, such as roots, and so on and so forth. Now, when collecting specimens, especially the live specimens, there are some precautions that one needs to take. Some of the specimens can cause injuries. Things like the insects, some can sting, others can bite, others are poisonous, and therefore it is important to take precautions. So it is necessary to understand what are the precautions that are required during collection of live specimens. So the precautions required during collection of specimens, one, we are supposed to collect only the specimens that we need in our study to avoid wastage and destruction. So we should not go collecting specimens that we do not need. So we are supposed to collect only the required number of specimens. So to avoid wastage, we need to collect only the number that we require. Number two, during the specimen collection, we should not destroy the habitats or the homes of those specimens. So care should be taken 
that we should not destroy the habitats we should not destroy the habitats of specimens being collected we will need those habitats in future now when collecting live specimens care should be taken about those specimens that can cause injuries they should be handled with care and they should be handled with the right equipment for example if an insect can sting it's advisable to use the forceps to hold that particular insect or to collect that particular insect so when collecting injurious specimens care should be taken by use of appropriate equipment or apparatus Now, after collecting the specimens and after carrying out the study, live specimens should be returned back to their habitats unharmed, without being harmed at all. So, after study, or after the study, the live specimens should be taken back to their habitats unharmed so we should make sure that those specimens are not harmed at all at all now we also have some specimens that are highly mobile, that move very fast, like the centipedes. So for those highly mobile specimens, they should be immobilized. They should be slowed down using particular agents so that they can be caught easily. So... highly mobile live specimens should be immobilized should be immobilized using suitable reagents before collection so basically those are the precautions that one requires during the collection of specimens now it is also important to understand which are some of the apparatus used for specimen collection apparatus or equipment used
we'll name a few. For example, we have the sweep net. This one is for catching flying insects. Things like the wasps and so on and so forth. We have the fish net. This one is for catching fish and other animals in water. We have the bait trap. This one is for attracting attracts and traps small mammals e.g. rodents such as the rats and the mice we use the bait trap whereby they are the bait attracts them and then they are caught by the trap we have a putter that is used to suck small crawling animals from rocks or barks of trees, things like the aphids that can easily be sucked. They are sucked using a putter. We have the pitfall trap. And this one is for catching crawling animals. which fall into a pit we have specimen bottles and these ones are for storage of specimen during collection So the list is long, there are many uh, apparatus, many equipment that we use during specimen collection as we have seen. So basically today we have learned about the precautions that we need to take during uh, specimen collection, that we should not injure the specimen, we should not destroy their habitats, we should only collect the number that we need to avoid wastage, for those specimens that are highly mobile, they should be immobilized uh, by use of suitable reagents uh, before collection. And then finally, after we have completed the study, this, uh, the live specimens should be taken back to their habitats to avoid, of course, destruction of the ecosystem. Now, also, we have learned about the apparatus or equipment that we use for specimen collection. There is a sweep net for catching flying insects. The fish net for catching fish and other animals in water. Bait trap, this one attracts and traps. So this one attracting and trapping small mammals, e.g. rodents, such as rats and mice. We have a putter for sucking small animals from rocks or barks of trees. We have the pitfall, whereby we catch crawling animals 
by making them fall into a pit. And then finally, the specimen bottles that are for storage of specimen. So all those are part of the apparatus that we use for specimen collection. So we are going to have a, an assignment on that. So the first question in the assignment, state and explain five precautions that a student should take during specimen collection. Number two, draw the following apparatus and state their functions. A putter, B forceps, and C a bait trap. So we are going to stop there. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.